Hi everyone, I'm Jo York and I'm absolutely delighted to be able to welcome you to my studio today. I hope you enjoy looking around, seeing some of the work, seeing what I've been up to and also seeing a little bit of process too. Um, I work from here all the time, it's my permanent base and I am mainly a painter but I also do a bit of printmaking and I'm also a teacher so I do a lot of work working one-to-one -one particularly with clients doing coaching for emerging artists and I also run some workshops as well from time to time. Uh, this year obviously you can't come to our studios which is such a shame but we are so excited about North Yorkshire Open Studios online and we really hope you'll follow us and take part and support us. In the meantime if you would like to see a little bit more about me and my work um, and even better to purchase something then uh, please do look at my website which is joyorkart.co.uk and you can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook as Joe York Art. And I really hope you will. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much. Take care and all the best. Bye bye. And welcome to my studio. I'm just on my way in. You can see it's a beautiful sunny day. Sunlight's flooding into the studio through the big windows on the far side. Um, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tour around show you what's going on. Lovely, lovely, lovely print press here. Got lots of resources, color palettes, all that kind of thing, brushes, blades, all of those kinds of things going on there. And then I'm gonna show you some paintings. So above, I've got two paintings from Cornish Margin series exploring the Atlantic coast of Cornwall. Um, and then coming down, I've got another one in that series, a much bigger painting. This one's quite interesting too because it's actually, um, it's looking at edges. I quite like edges. So this is about looking out over a cliff edge into the, onto the water beyond. And this painting has lots of layers, but it also includes layers of hand painted rice paper, which really add to the texture and the surface of the painting. Um, which I'm going to try and show you a little bit more of there. You can just about see, I think. And then I'm going to come up and we've got quite a lot going on around here. So swinging up high, got a big painting here, which is, um, again, it's, it's about this Atlantic coast of Cornwall. And this one evokes a really stormy walk, evening walk, um, gloomy, dramatic, dramatic weather really, bold thunderclouds and all kinds of things going on. So the mark making refers to that, it's, it's big bold brush strokes and there's a lot of incised marks going on in, in through them. And actually, although it's a dark palette, you can see when you get close, there's some very vibrant colour in there, some vibrant blues and all kinds of colour in there, some golds, greens, all sorts. Coming down here, I've got a bit of a triptych going on. Nice little set of three paintings inspired by Sutton Bank. Um, these are looking at the layers. Really, it's about layers in landscape and layers in paint. And they're looking down over the field margins and the shapes you can see when you're looking down from the height of Sutton Bank over those kind of epic views. And um, they're quite abstracted paintings, but when you come in close, there's lots of textures and lots of hints of, of detail too. So there's a lot going on in them. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a little bit more of that. There we go. And this third one here, this one is very much about those field shapes, field margins. So that's that one. And then coming up above, We've got two paintings. These are also about the Atlantic coast of Cornwall and they have slightly different, quite a warm colour palette here. This one I'm going to show you in a bit more detail. This one has a little bit of mixed media, quite a lot of drawn work coming through the paint. Lots of layers. All my work is lots of layers. And it also hints at something I'm interested in. I'm interested in traces of what's gone before, of industry, of habitation, all of those kinds of things that 
that persist in the landscape. And this one's got that gorgeous orangey gold color, which refers to Jasper, which used to be mined in this area. Coming down, I've got a little oil. This is a little oil with cold wax, which is really all about movement and texture and light. Uh, that one's still in progress, got a little bit more to do with that. Um, and then what else have we got going on? Some of my resources here. And then I'm coming up. This, this painting up here is a one that's very close to me. This is down in the bottom of a lime kiln quarry that's nearby. And this is kind of looking up, showing the texture of all the scrubby little bushes and trees in the bottom and looking up through the quarry up to the top to see the sky above. Into the corner, I've got, what have we got? We've got the usual sort of papers with samples on and mark making and so on. And then right in this corner, I've got two interesting paintings based on Yorkshire fells, both quite layered. These have a really gorgeous kind of greeny, purpley, blue color palette. Um, and they're all about fragmented layers in those sort of landscapes. So I'm gonna bring, bring the camera out so you can see that. So those are two kind of Yorkshire landscapes. Um, I'm quite close here. You can see part of a big painting. I'm gonna pull back so you can see all of it. This one is a big one. This one is about four foot by five foot. Great big painting. Um, this one refers back to that Jasper I mentioned. So it's about that Atlantic coast. So many colors in this. This one took ages to do. It's got so many layers. And when I come in close, you can begin to see all the layers underneath, some of which come through because I've got translucent layers, opaque layers, um, incised marks, all kinds of things going on in that one. So that's one of my favorites. Um, below it, I've got a little painting, a smaller painting, um, which is all about drama really in the sky and in the landscape. Um, kind of quite like that quite an interesting colour palette going on in there. A lot of drama, a lot of, uh, maybe a bit of romance in that one. Uh, in the corner, I've got uh, a bit of a, a one-off painting, which was done in the mountains earlier this year before we were all locked down when I could, happened to get away. Um, so that's just a one-off painting in the Alps. It's all about the kind of feel of, of that white landscape with the, just the, the bleak green and, and black in the trees. And then going above, I've got rich sort of autumnal palette. Um, another one with bold brush marks. I really love that one actually. Lots of nice work going on in that. Above, I've got a series, part of that big, quite a big series, which is um, based on, uh, on those Cornish coasts. So, uh, they are up there. It helps me a lot to have some of these series paintings around me for a while. I need to live with them, particularly when I'm working in series, which I tend to do, because they can be quite key paintings and um, I'll get links across paintings in a series and, and you sort of need to have them around you. Um, this little one here, this is about 31 centimetres and this one is based on Armscliff Crag, which is very close to here. Slightly different palette again here. This one comes from early in the year, January, February time, and you can see that in the colors in the sky and so on. So kind of lots of grays going in there, but when you look at the color close by, there's some warmth as well. And lots of incised detail. I quite enjoy working um, incising into wet paint. It's one of the ways I, I like to develop my work. By the way, I should say nearly all my work comes from walking. Um, I walk a lot, love walking, love exploring, quite wild landscapes, particularly Scotland, Cornwall, and and, and of course Yorkshire, particularly North Yorkshire. Um, and that's really where all the work comes from. So on these boards, I've got some reference, some samples. These are the kind of paintings, this one here particularly is the kind of thing I do when I'm outside and they become the reference and I develop my paintings by looking at these. And then I've got some more, this is one of my work areas here. So 
got little samples of painting and then I've got colour swatches here which you can see. Um, these all refer to particular paintings and I record the colour samples um, which is really helpful. This is a painting notebook which has, um, well it's sort of what it says on the tin really, it's got notes and diagrams. I test out composition ideas, I plan series of work. And then I also have things like this color palettes on, um, on separate paper, which I can put next to work that's ongoing. So I can check how a palette is working across the series. And that's sort of pretty important to me. Um, coming over, uh, this is my main work area. As you can see, I've got nice big uh, area of a couple of tables put together and you can see paints. I've got lots of acrylics um, Happen to be out at the moment. I've got medium. I've got oh, what have we got? We've got palette knives and wire brushes all the kind of random bits and pieces I use these lovely silicon wedges, which are gorgeous um, Lots of paints some are some hand hand mixed up paints, which I label uh, and then we're coming back, we've got a Stay Wet palette there, which I use all the time when I'm using acrylic, one of my own ones, just made up with um, bits of uh, soaked paper. And then we come to the work that I'm actually on with at the moment. So this painting here, I think is pretty much finished. This is also from a Yorkshire walk, so this is a local one. And I'm using a kind of very spring-like vibrant colour palette influenced by really what I'm seeing on my walks each morning out into the countryside. And then I've got this, this is the second in the series and this one, as you can see, has a lot further to go. So I've really just begun to start developing this. It's got base layers and I'm beginning to start developing in this area some of the detail that I want so it works with this one so they're kind of series they're part of a series they're sort of sister paintings this is um, one of my sketchbooks so you can see these this is some of the reference I've been using for these paintings that I've got on the go and if I just have a look through there's some other ones these are the kind of paintings I do when I'm outside. Again, color swatches I can refer to. Um, more of those. This is really how I work. I, I have um, sample paintings, which I do mainly outside, work them up a little bit, often cut them up, collage them, and then I'll develop my paintings from them. Uh, they, they're very, that's really my, my way of working. Samples, notes outside. Photographs as well, but I never work directly from a photograph. They're always, I'm always working more from something like this, a, a sample painting and with colour notes. And then just finally, I'm coming round. This is actually quite interesting. This is a bit different. This is an oil I'm working on at the moment, and it's a, really about the lockdown. It's an oil uh, that's exploring a memory of a favourite walk uh, that I can't get to at the moment because it's too far away. I can't walk directly to it, I have to drive. So obviously I'm not going there. And so it's a, a really very subtle, very soft, um, so that it hints at being a, a memory that's a little bit faded and uh, all the detail isn't quite there. And that's what I'm trying to convey in that painting. So that's uh, an oil that's on the go needs a little bit more work yet. And then I'm just swinging around, last couple of paintings. And this one is another one in that Sutton Bank series actually, but this one's much more abstracted and it's really about texture, this one. It's got lots of lovely kind of rich built up textures that you can see if I come in close. So you've got really thick texture of the paint, lots of incised marks, lots going on in those. And then if I just finally swing round, you can see a little bit of the rest of the studio with storage and all my paints there. Hope you've enjoyed looking round and, well, I really hope people will be able to come and visit in person very soon again. Thank you. Bye.